In this video, I'm going to show you how to blitz out of match coverage in Madden 23. What's going on, guys? My name is Cody. Welcome to the video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you're looking to get better at Madden. We post tips every single day to help people get better at Madden. And I'm really excited about this video because I'm going to be teaching you how to blitz out of match defense. Now, a lot of you guys may be asking the question, well, number one, what is match coverage? Well, there's three primary ways that you can play defense in Madden in terms of your coverage. You can play man coverage, which basically means means that the defenders that are man coverage are going to play the receiver in man coverage wherever they go meg man uh, everywhere they go you can play zone spot drop coverage where you use zone drops or where you just use the default coverage that they put in the game for zone where your defenders are going to drop two spots on the field and then lastly you can play what's known as match coverage where based off of the routes that the receivers run the defenders will make a decision to either let that go or they're going to match the route and really what it does is match coverage is great at adapting to the routes that your opponent actually puts on the field um, and so that's probably my favorite way to play defense now if you guys want to learn my entire match defensive ebook Make sure you're in our Patreon. Guys, uh, we just have a couple of days left in the month of August, and we've already released over seven ebooks in two weeks for you guys to teach you the ins and outs of how to become a better player in Madden. We've released the dollar, or I'm not the dollar, the dime 146, the big nickel over G, which I personally think is the best defense in the game, the most adaptable defense. Third um, thing that we did was we released an entire ebook teaching you the ins and outs of match coverage, how it works, not only how it works, but how to adjust it to pretty much every good formation in the game. We taught you the ins and outs of that coverage, how it adapts formation to formation, how to make the best adjustments possible. And today we're going to be showing you kind of a fun little blitz out of this coverage as well. Now, and then we also released a completely uh, a full blitzing ebook where we showed you how to blitz out of all kinds of different formations in Madden 23. And on the offensive side of the ball, uh, we've released uh, two ebooks. We've released a trip side in ebook and a bunch ebook, and we're working right now on two other offenses for you guys. So our Patreon members have been given a ton of content, ton of updates, and if you really want to take your game to the next level, I'd encourage you to join it. It's only ten dollars. So literally for $10, you've already got like six or seven eBooks and a ton of exclusive updates about the meta and how to how to combat it. So I uh, just think it's really worth it. If you guys haven't signed up for it yet, would really encourage you to do that. But I want to show you why I love this blitz. So we're going to go up against the bunch. And uh, one of the best plays year in and year out in the bunch formation are these corner routes and quick. So these quick corner routes are always really, really good. So I'm going to grab bunch trail. And then uh, we're also... Um, going to have just kind of some basic plays uh, that we can go to like deep corner for example okay so we're just going to show you how this works against bunch primarily uh, because that's still one of the more popular formations this year even though it's certainly not as good as it's been in years past i've actually really enjoyed the variety of different offenses we've been seeing um, over the course of the first couple weeks of the game but anyways let's get out on the field and show you this so what you're going to want to do in your coaching adjustments first and foremost I like to go ahead and turn auto flip off um, when running big nickel to teach this from, but you can leave this on. Just know that your safeties will sometimes flip. It is a bug in the game. All you have to do is just basically reset those assignments. The way you do that is like, let's say the safeties flip, then you just re hot route them into the zones that they were already in. If you want to save yourself that adjustment, then turn auto flip off and big nickel over G is a really good formation. It can be fine with auto flip off, to be honest. Um, and then I like to turn baseline on, but you don't have to. So we're going to leave it off. But the most important thing is to put your zone coverage on match. Now you can do this out of other plays that have match. You can do this out of nickel over or nickel normal. This is a great formation to blitz out of because it's uh, really simple and it has the, the play we need, which is cover four quarters. Uh, so we're going to put the slot cornerback package on on the big nickel in case we need to make any adjustments And then we're going to come out in cover four quarters now cover four quarters is the formation or the play That I personally really recommend that you blitz out of if you're going to blitz out of any play Either blitz out of cover six or cover four quarters, but most most generally speaking cover four quarters is the best one to blitz from 
So against a trips formation like this, whether it be trips tight end, bunch, any kind of trips formation where they have three wide receiving threats to one side of the field, this is the way that I like to blitz that. So we're going to go ahead and show blitz. We're going to pinch our line. We're going to crash our line out. This left side quarter zone, because there's three deep threats to the right, and also because of the actual formation that they're in, he's really not like that super critical to the coverage. So we're going to blitz that left of screen, um, that left of screen dude right there. Now, what we're going to do with the rest of the players on this play is we're going to shade our coverage down so that we're able to play hard flats. And then my personal job is if there's a deep crossing route from the bunch side, like if they run verticals or something, I need to go guard the crossing route. But other than that, we're going to be just fine. And you're going to see the beauty of this coverage is if they try to run a concept like a flood to the right. Doesn't matter if doesn't matter who's on the corner, doesn't matter who's on the flat, right? But this is going to be really, really effective. And so what you'll see here is this concept will be bagged up and the pressure will be able to come in at the quarterback. Now, another really, really cool thing that you can actually do this year out of the blitzes because of the way the offensive line works is we can actually drop one of our defensive linemen into a bluff blitz. The beauty of this is now we're going to have someone over the middle in case they run anything over the middle right there. As you can see, we're able to have that bluff blitz and we're still able to kind of get some pressure at the quarterback. Now, another way that you can set this basic blitz up is we can blitz this right side guy. We could then hard flat uh, Edwards, and then we could purple zone. Uh, we could purple zone this safety that came down, and we could go ahead and blitz our user over here. So we're basically creating the same essential coverage from this just a little bit of a different look. And you're going to see now we're going to come off of the right side. There we got chip blocked, um, you know, but we're still able to get the pressure in. So that's the beauty of this formation, especially with Big Nickel, is we can do a lot. Now, we can also blitz from the linebacker position. Let's say we wanted to blitz uh, this, this guy, Edwards. We could blitz him and then, again, do the same thing with the hard flats underneath. The beauty of this is they're not going to be able to throw a corner route. They're not going to be able to throw a flat route. They're going to have to throw over the middle of the field, which is where our user is. So they go to verticals. You see here, oh, we see a crosser. We're going to go to the crosser. And as you can see, um, pretty decent little play, and we're getting the pretty – uh, we're getting the pressure in, you know, pretty well against this defense. So that's the beauty of this coverage is we can really adapt it to whatever they're trying to do. Um, because as long as you have the quarters, that's really the primary thing that you need. Now, in the situation like four verticals where they're going to send, you know, the tight end on a wheel, you might want to try to like peek at it and then get to that crosser. But really your main read is the crosser from this. Now, I want to show this from another formation just for fun. So uh, we're just going to go into a, uh, a trip set. I think I have, um, let me see if I have like trips tied in. So we're going to show this out of trips tied in just for fun. And what I like to do with this is we're going to come out in the same play, cover four quarters. We're playing trips tied in. And you see this is how it looks pre-snap. So I like to actually, when I'm playing trips, I'm going to use her this safety right here. Now, really, really important, what we're going to do is we want to make sure that when we blitz off of this side, we're going to blitz that uh, linebacker in the three-receiver hook zone. So we're just going to blitz this guy right off the edge. And basically what we're looking at here is does, does all receivers run vertical? If they all run vertical, then we're going to make sure that we cover that number three receiver, uh, Chris Gowen. He's kind of our key here. So here we are. We know he's our responsibility. And you see that's pretty decent coverage, and we're getting really good pressure from it. So this is just a sneak peek. This is just a basic little concept. In our Patreon and in our ebook on this, we have so many more concepts in teaching you how to blitz, how to adjust your blitz, how to adjust your coverage, formation and formation based on tendencies. Match coverage, I really believe we've only hit the tip of the iceberg with everything that we can do with this coverage as it pertains to Madden. And uh, really excited to continue to update the match ebook for you guys this year so make sure that you're in our patreon so that way you not only get the original match defensive ebook but you also get all of the updates that we're going to be putting into it as we find new things and as we get better throughout the year so thanks for watching the video and if you're wanting to sign up for the patreon it's only ten dollars to sign up the link is down in the description so head on down to the description below click the link down below and hopefully we will see you guys over at our patreon page